Legends, welcome back to our fifth video on introduction to PHP and MySQL. And if you guys get lost throughout this video series, just go ahead and go to my website. You can watch the videos from there. So go to villageparkmedia.com, click on tutorials. And what are we looking at? We're looking at PHP, so click on that. And introduction to PHP and MySQL is what we're learning. And find the video. I'm sure there's going to be more videos what you're looking at right now because I'm just making these videos as I go. So you're probably going to see a whole list of videos right here. But uh, yeah, go ahead and watch them from here if you guys are having a hard time following along on YouTube. So what are we going to do in this video? This is just a short video on text editors. And remember, Microsoft Word is not a text editor. You cannot build websites with Microsoft Word because it's a word processor and not a text editor. I'm going to be using TextMate right down here, but text, text might cost a little bit of money, so if you don't want to pay any money, use Notepad if you're on a PC and text edit if you're on a Mac. Again, there's no right or wrong when using a text editor. Use whatever you are most comfortable with. I jump around all the time. Sometimes I use Dreamweaver, sometimes I use TextMate, sometimes I use BB Edit. So use whatever you're most comfortable with. If you don't have any money and you don't like your stock text editor that your operating system provides, I recommend Googling free text editors. So I'm going to open up another tag right here, tab right here, and just type in free text editors for a Mac. If you're on a PC, we'll just keep it universal. Free text editors. And what do we have right here? 12, free ex 12 excellent free text editors for coders. I'm going to click on this one. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, Notepad++. This is awesome if you're on a PC. When I was on a PC, I was 100% dependent on Notepad++. You get the color in here, so it's easier It's easier to differentiate your code. What else we got? Bluefish Editor, never heard of you. Text Wrangler, I used to use that. It was okay. I never really got too familiar with it. Smoltron, haven't heard of you, but it's got the color highlighting right here, which is awesome. Cat editor, don't know it, get it, don't know it. This looks a lot like Notepad++. Again, context, this is good. I used to use this on a PC a couple of years ago. They're all, they all do the same thing. So again, there's no right or wrong. Um, maybe you might want to find one that's got like an easier user interface, which just makes it extremely easy for first time users. But you're going to, let's just go back up to the top. If you're on a PC, I recommend down I recommend downloading Notepad++. You got to be on Windows though. You got to be on PC. If you're on a Mac, I don't know. I I recommend Text Wrangler cuz it's a little bit better in text edit. Or take a shot in the dark and download this one because it's for Mac and you get the we get the color highlighting. So Again, I'm going to be using TextMate. Uh, sometimes I use Dreamweaver, but I'm not going to use it for this video. I'm going to be on TextMate the whole time. And uh, I guess that's it. So in the next video, we're going to dive into ZAMP. So good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.